Hey guys, RC here, back with episode one. I told you I'd be back with a job. So we have been approached by Volin, and we'll talk about the club, why I took this job. Uh, I got to tell you, it was because of Google Maps. It was astounding. <laughs> so not a small club, not a huge club. Uh, the only agreement was to keep a general manager in place. Marcelo Bielsa did that at Leeds United with... Uh, Victor Orta, so no problem there. He's actually got a 12 in both uh, judging ability and potential, so I'm okay with that. They want us to be competitive, finish in the top half of the Premier League uh, in whatever country this is. I think it's the Ukraine. Uh, don't be outclassed in the Super Cup and then maintain top half finishes for the next five years. So we're going to accept that. Uh, they are offering a two-year deal. Um, do I want to do a Bielsa and do a one-year deal? We'll do two years with basically I'll have an option to walk if I want. $34,500 a month. I didn't ask them for anything because everything for the club looked okay. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll take that deal. All right, so there we are. That's a little tiny boardroom compared to what we were used to seeing at Leeds, wasn't it? All right, well, let's jump over to the browser. I put in the stadium name, and I think I spelled it wrong, but it came up in the Ukraine, so I looked it up. I don't know what happened here, but it was amazing. So this is the pitch. I was like, wow, that's incredible. And I said, well, maybe it's an old stadium. And then I start looking around. They got a Ferris wheel over here, an amusement park. I mean, this looks like somewhere, I would picture this as being like near Chernobyl, like Fallout 4, man. That's, that's what I thought when I saw this. I was like, it looks like Fallout 4. Now, that could just be a lot of trees. Now, that, that has to be an old stadium. That was amazing. So, so that's what... I mean, that's what I come up to is that. And I was like, eh. So I was like, but that's cool looking. And I was sold at that point. I was like, I'm, I'm taking this. I'm applying for this job. Um, we're, we're out in some nuclear holocaust wasteland. So I went in. I put it in again. It looks a lot better. Talk about a fixer-upper. I mean, you know, you, you cut a few trees down, mow the grass, and put a coat of paint on everything. By God, it looks much better. I honestly don't know where this is, but that's astounding, right? <laughs> so this is the actual stadium. And I went, okay. So, you know, it looks like they do some shot put and javelin throwing out there. But, uh, you know, we've got, it's a 21,500 seat, all seater. So we're good there. Uh, let's uh, pop back up. Not a whole lot in the way, you know, no covered seating or anything, but that's okay. Uh, let's come down here to the intersection, and I believe that is the correct side, which I can't see anything. I'm going to pop over this way. There's really nothing to see. That's what that's telling me. So there are the lights. It's just slightly elevated over street level. Nothing wrong there. Tree lined. I mean, it looks nice. Let's pop out. Uh, we will scoot over. We scoot over to the other side and kind of check out this intersection. Okay, there's the stadium. A mini market. That's right. Ukraine is former. Let me see if I've got my politics right. Former Soviet Union, yes, Ukraine, I believe, part of that, but now it's not part of it, and that's about the extent of my knowledge. So, but I recognize uh, some of the writing is acrylic. I believe it's called acrylic. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe that's the, my Americanism showing through. But uh, let's see, they've got a soccer shop over here. This may be where we come get uh, our, our equipment. And uh, that might be the player's dormitory. Who knows? We get down the side street here, the back side. We can. All right. Uh, that's as far as we can get. 
All right, so there's our back gate in for training. This looks like where the players would come. Player park, maybe. Little back alley. I have no idea what that is. Looks like it's some kind of restaurant, I'm guessing, based on the pictures and uh, water. So they can go get their food. They can hydrate on their per diem every day. $14.59 for a soda. That seems a little pricey. But uh, let's see. There's our light trusses. Yeah, so anyway, that that's the picture that got me here. I was like, dude, want that's where I'm managing. I, I want to manage there. Let's see where this is. So, yeah, Avonhard Stadium. And that's the name of the stadium. But that's what shows up. I was like, and there's nothing out there. I mean, there is nothing out here. Now, what's weird is this was 2019, and this one was like a year later. I don't know where this is, but this is, I, I saw this and I was sold from that point. I went, that's where we're managing. Um, we're managing here, not here, but that looks much better. All right, but we are into it. Uh, so let's hop back in. So we are going to be at Volin. Three-star reputation, media prediction is eighth position. Last season, they finished eighth. And we'll enter the Ukrainian Cup in the second round and the playoffs of the Euro Cup. So that's good. 12,080 capacity built in 1960. They have superb training, state-of-the-art youth facilities, and excellent youth recruitment. So that is got me excited right there and that's one of the reasons i didn't ask for anything to be improved uh there's your top players uh simic treshwinko mikhailov my oh, god this is gonna kill me i apologize in advance for butchering pronunciations you can deal with that we'll be okay <laughs> krivo strike maybe but I can't put the twang on there all the time. So there may be nicknames going on, like Maz instead of Mad Mazarenko, Comzirik, Malone. I like that one. I'm going to have to recruit people just for name pronunciation. Basharov, Bidney, Bidney, something like that. I have no idea. You'd think the shorter one would be more pronounceable. Tarasenko. I'm going to go with that. And... Kravchenko. Okay. Some of those I can manage, and they will get a little better, even if they're pronounced wrong. Two-year deal. Top half finishes. No big deal. We will deal with all that off camera. Uh, sure, I'll do that off camera. We'll do that off camera. All right. So, let's take a quick look at the club. Let me look at my staff first so i have a coach i have an assistant coach so i have an ass man he's actually not a bad coach but don't particularly care for that so let's look what other people can do i like this guy I like this guy so one of the things that bielsa does is he tries to keep his coaches with him so and, and they follow him very religiously almost from job to job. So that's one of the things that we're going to look at is, now I may not keep these particular coaches, but once I find like my first coach, that will be somebody, I'll, you know, I'm going to make a list of my coaches and then I will try to hire those coaches wherever I go to mimic that following of his staff and and his circle of people so that is one of the things that i'm going to try to do this is the guy that i want involved with most of my decision making so that'll be good we've actually got quite a few uh ability so nothing wrong there and if we look at our rating in the ukrainian premiere we're not the best, but we're top half for everybody. Taking a look at recruitment, I have a general manager who is decent. Wish he was better at negotiating, but 
Uh, I think the general manager should be hired by the club president. That shouldn't be my job as a, as a manager. Uh, this is somebody that, you know, you actually work with and report to in a lot of cases. Bielsa has, Orta doesn't work for Bielsa. They actually work together, but Orta knows, and he's admitted, I find out what Bielsa wants, and then I go find it. So, Basically, that's how I'm going to be looking to set up scouting is, you know, you go out and do your scouting and you do your job. And then you let me know what you find and I'll tell you who we're interested in. Uh, so that's how that's going to work. I do have a cheap scout. He could be better. And I have another scout and he's pretty horrible. And a recruitment analyst. Do we have room for another scout? I actually do have room for three scouts. So let's place an advertisement for scouts. We will get going there. And then medical team, we've got uh, head physio, chief doctor, two physios, and I think we're okay there. We don't have a sports scientist, but evidently some of these other guys can do sports science, and that's fine. I wonder why this guy's not on any money. He's working for free. My guess would be that he's being forced at gunpoint. That would be my guess. Just a guess. I could be wrong. Uh, we do need some more scouts to build up this to get it, you know, get over average. Taking a look at the team report. Okay, what was this manager's, this coach's name again? Hold on. Coaching team, Nicotin. Nicotine. There we go. Nicotine. Team depth chart from. Nicotine. We're going to sort by three stars to start. And I don't want to hide transfers in. All right, so we've got one striker. I haven't put a tactic in yet. So this is a 4 4 2. We'll have to revisit this once I, because you know, this isn't going to be my formal tactic, but it'll be similar. So we have a solid left back in Malone. Bidney is probably going to be slated at center back. That's going to leave Tarasenko at right back. Izev and Barashov and Radonov vying for that second center back. Kravchenko in goal. We've got Kamziak in central mid. And then we've got a handful of guys that could rotate in there and at least be decent. Privatsyuk on the right wing, along with Friedrich, Tereschenko, and Kurchinsky on the left, and then Zubov up top. So we definitely need another striker. We do have quite a few two and a half stars. So if we look at some of these guys, are they worth looking at? It's hard to say. I mean, they've got a 10 in finishing. We've got some pace. I've got this guy has really good work rate. I could see him being my number two choice with nobody else coming in, right? So we could use a reserve keeper. We, we're two deep, two to three, two or three deep everywhere. Four deep plus in central. I could probably get rid of a couple of central midfielders. Although there's a lot of, I'm thinking Rod, Rodick is pretty far down and he's maxed out at 26. Probably get rid of him. But I want to see where we're at in the season because I don't really know. Uh, we are early in friendlies. <laughs> okay. So the league's right around the corner. So I need to get tactics done uh, and everything else. So... Let me get busy, and we will set up tactics. I will look at putting people on the block or trade. Let's check the rules here just to see when the transfer window is. So six foreign-based players over the age of 22 at one time. Okay. You cannot terrace your stadiums. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder... I wonder what the reason for that is. If you know, let me know in the comments just because I'm curious. Uh, but let's see. Registration. Four players trained for three years. 
before their 21st birthday. So we need to be very careful about keeping our youngsters. Eight players trained in the same nation before their 21st birthday. 25 players minimum. Registration between July 1st and August 31st. And the transfer window is July 1st to August 31st. So we've got a month and a half left. And then January to January and February. So you have a two-month window instead of a one-month window like we're used to in England. And we've got a couple of offers. I will have to sort out, see if any of these are, and these are all outgoing. So he's on loan till the end. Of, you know, they've requested a loan to the end of the season. He's going out waiting on a work permit. He rejected all the contracts. So all of all these are loans going out. So that's not a big deal. We do have a lot of uh, contracts that we could sell if we would like to recoup that in a hurry. We have a transfer budget of seven point four million. 90% of transfer revenue is available, and we've got about 500000 in payroll room available as well. So let me get busy, and we will be back. We'll go through some transfers and then get into our first match of the season against Dynamo Kiev. I've at least heard of them. Shakhtar in the Super Cup, okay? Metal. I might throw that game just on principle. And we'll be in the Euro Cup playoffs in, a, you know, in about a month and a half. So I got a lot to do. We missed all the offseason, although the transfer window is only about two weeks old. I need to sort these out, get moving on scouting, get some new scouts in. So you guys just sit there for just a second. I'll be right back with your other information. I got a lot to do here in the meantime. All right, guys, I am back. It's been a little while. I'm still recording this Thanksgiving night, but uh, it's been a few hours. We broke for dinner, and uh, I do want to express uh, thanks to those of you that uh, you know gave uh, sympathy and condolences uh, thoughts on my uh, Twitter uh, account. For, uh, for my mom. I do appreciate it. Uh, anyway, getting back into the business at hand, uh, we've loaned out a handful of our youngsters, uh, getting some fees and whatnot. We did have one move. I got notification that uh, James Malone was unhappy, and I was disappointed to hear that, but you can see he's gone to Everton for up to $23 million, which was his release clause. Uh, we didn't have a way out of it, and uh, boy, he would have been good for us this year. <laughs> I would have liked him. 21-year-old Irish uh, kid, but uh, he has uh, departed for greener pastures. Two goals in 98 matches for the club uh, in his time here, but he forced his way out, wanted to move to a bigger club, bigger challenge. So I will be looking to get another left back i believe we've got some uh some offers out actually i take that back we've only been here about a week so they're still scouting and developing our scouting archive so i don't have anybody to even try to make an offer on but uh remember we talked about in the intro we do have a two-month transfer window so i've got about five five and a half weeks left so we'll be spending a little bit of money and that money coming in has really uh, boosted us up. We've got 21, almost 21 and a half million. Started with seven and a half, and we've got about 600,000 in wages. Not sure how much we can actually afford, but uh, anyway, we're up to 37 million in the bank, so that's looking good. Taking a look at the friendlies, uh, they had played these first three prior to my takeover. Uh, we won 2-1 with a brace from Yuri Simic, and then we won 6-1. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted just to click on the line. Uh, we won 6-1. We had a goal from Kushniinski. Uh, Lukas Sasek got a goal. Jan Friedrich 
got a hat trick, including a penalty, and Yuri Simic with another goal, giving him three over our two matches. So, um, anyway, taking a look at our tactics, they will look familiar. We have, a, uh, we have basically two versions of the same tactic. We've got this one with the wingers, attacking wingers, which I think is the better tactic right now. And then we've got the diamond, which we actually have people, but that will, that will be a slightly more defensive formation, I believe. This is going to be, but other, you know, setup wise and everything, they're mostly identical. And being that we've played two matches, we've really progressed. Even though the marking is still awkward, those were all completely empty when we started. So they've gotten into it really good. Team selection, we're going to be going with Simic and Mikhailiev up top. I don't know. Tereschenko and Kravatsiuk on the wings. Komzik. Komchek and Mazarenko in the mid. Clements, Radinov, Izev, and Tarasenko on the back line. And Carroll's going to be in goal. Carroll is uh, not our regular starter, but he could be. In fact, I might make him the starter just on principle. Uh, he's a young prospect. Our starting keeper got injured and is out for six to eight days. And he's 33, so I've transfer listed him. There he is. Uh, Kravchenko. So he'll get a he'll get at least one match to show what he can do. So let's get to it. We do have to get some numbers in here. Also, our is it Atletico Madrid or Real Madrid? I forget. It's one of those two. Uh, it's one of the big Spanish clubs. Uh, is our is our uh, senior affiliate? But they have a very small roster. And I am unable to get anybody on loan from them. All right, let's try to pump them up a little bit. Unsure. App Ooh, apprehensive. Okay. <clears throat> well, we'll see how that goes. We are in the white. Dynamo Kiev in the blue. Once again, I pick a club that I think has red kits for their reserves. And you guys know how I feel about red. Oh, by the way, that goes into the side netting. Uh, we just had the draw for the Euro Cup uh, that we uh, qualified for. And, uh, yeah, you guys you know as a Leeds fan, there's a particular club over in Turkey that I am not a fan of. And that's who we drew. Uh, I won't be brought, recording that match. Uh, I just won't give any any time of day to that club. Uh at all <laughs> so uh not when they murdered uh two uh two fans from leeds no i don't find that pity at all in real life yeah no it's okay and that's headed out back over to the corner oh there it is take the show oh, man split leg tackle that was actually a pretty good save defensively uh, let's get back in here and, yeah, we need to go key highlights. We're going to keep that. I think everything else looks right. I forgot I had changed it in my other save, but this is our first match in, the, uh, in this save. So, oh, he puts it in, bounces it off the cross upright, and Timothy... Kravatskik. I have no idea. Timmy K. I like that. Timmy K. <laughs> Kravat... Yay. Kravatskik. Yeah, that's going to make my tongue fall off. But he scores. We're winning. 1-0. If you guys were here for pronunciation, you wouldn't stay long. Those of you that just left, bye. <laughs> Sorry. It's what it is. All right, they've got five shots. We've got seven. XG's pretty close. We're pretty lucky to have that goal at Sam. Uh, let's... I am going to outstretched arms. I'm pleased with how things are going. So that motivates them. Uh, team leader is uh, unsure. Okay, well... Let's ask him to demand more from the get-go. 
Everybody's playing relatively well. We got a couple of couple of six fives. Oh, that's headed out. Tarashenko, he's up into the attacking zone. Holds it up. Oh, he beats his man. There's a cross. Can he get another one? There's a shot that goes wide. Tarasenko off target just a little bit. Vasiliev with the kick out for their side. Dynamo Kiev. If I remember correctly, Dynamo Kiev is one of the better teams. Oh, by the way, uh, you know that guy, uh, Malone, that we just uh, sold to, was it Everton? Guess who is in the Premier League? We're going to have to go look at that. i got to show you guys. I'm not going to tell you now. Stick around till the end of the match, and we will show that to you. Oh, that was a nice play. Shot off the volley. All right, let's make a sub here. He's having a good game. Deserved his goal. See what, Tarashenko. Let's bring on Roddick. And... Let's bring on Makarov here. There we go. Still kind of getting, you know, we're, we're all still kind of getting used to the players, as to be expected. Uh, let's uh, demand more. Head it out. Oh, he takes a ping at the back post. All right, let's pop into the tactic here, and let's slow the pace down on the goal kicks. That's like my go-to. We'll see how that works out. All right, ask them to focus. They may not like that, but that's okay. All right, we're going to make another sub here, and it is going to be... Christoyasic. All right. We do lose. Looks like we're losing a good bit with these guys. Oh, no. And Lyulka. Ly Gregory Lyulka. His first goal of the season stands to reason, but a late goal, 88th minute off a set piece. Oh, that was just unlucky. Hanging ball just went over the keeper. You know what? Let's keep it like that. And we're going to walk out with a point. But we deserved three, I believe. That was unlucky. Uh, we're going to put hands in pockets. There were some positives. That motivates everybody. Some aggressiveness going on. I don't know what the deal is with these guys. All right, well, we're still in the top three, and that looks to be playoff qualifying, possibly. I haven't looked. Uh, nine key passes, so we will passing. There we go. Victor Kravchenko. Eh, do you know to vindicate? And who did? I don't even know who this guy is. He's a head coach. Well, if you want the guy, sign him. I'm not going to get involved in that. All right, uh, let's take a look here. We'll take a look at the Premier League. So tell me what doesn't belong. There's a couple of things that don't belong in there. Uh, Leeds is not in there. We need to go find out where they're at. Brentford making the Premier League. Burnley, Hull. Look at that, Lincoln. I am stunned. I am stunned. So they won. So keep in mind, we're in 2050. So they, they runners up in League Two in 2025, 2034, 2037 got promoted to League One. Looks like they got relegated a few times as well. Won League One in 2045. And then one uh, runner-up in the championship in twenty last year, so that's pretty cool. All right, there's the Premier League. Quick look at the championship, and there is Leeds. Unless I don't have this as playable, that may be the thing. Let's check it out. 
because I wasn't planning on coming to England. So I know it's in here. Yeah, it's view only. Yeah, I wasn't planning on playing England. So that's why I can't see the... Uh, you can see the leagues that I've got in here. You can see the leagues that I've got playable. Uh, if you wanted to look, if you're curious about that. All right, well, we you can go back and look at that. Uh, so we're going to be playing Shakhtar in the Super Cup here in a couple of days. I will be right back for that.